Okay, we're running our prototype crossovers because now we have an 800.4 bridge across the six and a half tweeter pair. So we're running our prototype crossover to reduce the output to the tweeter by six dB so it doesn't explode. Uh, it's also a six decibel proactive crossover. Uh, we now have our two Evo X 800.4s mounted, not like before where they were held in Velcro. And we went ahead and sealed off the pods that were cut out on both sides and our crossovers are mounted here instead of jammed into the pods. We've gone ahead and replaced both tweeters because one of them was blown. Night and day difference from when it came in. And then if we go over here where we had an amplifier falling out, we now have distribution block. Everything's nicely fused. We have access to the safety valve for the air ride. We have access to the T. We have access to the controller for the LED lighting. And in the bag, we have a Sound Digital 1200 securely mounted to expanded PVC. We reconstructed, reinforced the bags. We have our eight inch mid base driver. The bags have been recarpeted and sealed up. No more gaping holes. Both sides are done. They look nice and neat. We've installed a fresh braille battery. This one's 25 more amp hours than the old one. So it'll give them that extra little bit of juice. We've also upgraded the radio, flashed it, and enabled CarPlay and Android Auto. And this one's good to go. The disaster at the battery is all gone. Look at that. We have zero gauge feed to the fuse holder, zero gauge ground. If you notice, it's crimped and soldered. So we have a zero gauge feed to our fuse holder down here, zero gauge ground feed, and that's powering our two 800.4s and our 1200. Nice, clean, serviceable, everything's been cleaned up. Looks as good on the inside as it does on the outside, and this baby is ready to go. Ready to go, Sal? Yeah, of course. She is done getting loaded on trailer tomorrow. It's beautiful on the inside, beautiful on the outside. I showed you under the skirt. Uh, everything's cleaned up, popping's gone, radio's flash, car plays enabled. We added a 1200 watt 
we um, redid the bags, braced them, sealed them, added a uh, stronger eight inch mid base drivers. We got rid of the six inch subwoofers that weren't doing anything. Uh, we bridged the 800.4 to run the six snaps in the front and the diamond horns. We used a new prototype uh, passive crossover to protect them, 12, de 12 decibel proctive slopes. We bridged the second 800.4 on the six mines. This thing sounds great, looks great, and it's out of here. Okay, so the streak light is done. Getting delivered this morning. Just a recap of what we had to do. Okay, so if you remember, they had the JL Audio six inch subwoofers and a little makeshift enclosure over here. And then they had the Hertz SV200 over there. The, this was doing absolutely nothing because it wasn't proper enclosure and it wasn't getting any kind of power. So by removing that, we gave him back half his bag space. We were gonna use the Hertz, but uh, we needed something with a little bit more than the 500 watts that the Hertz can handle. So we went with an eight to, with an 18 sound Neo. These things handle 800 to 1000 watts each. We upgraded the amplifier. So we kept the two, we kept the two sound digital 800s. So the 800s were running The two horns, the two sixes, the two six by nines, the two sixes subwoofers, and the two eights. So we changed it around. We took some of the speakers out. So now we have one 800.4 bridge running the horn and the sixes up front, the other 800.4 running the six by nines, and we have the 1200 installed in this bag running the two eights. So now we've almost doubled his power, dropped him down. So now he's in the featherweight class and doubled the bass output that he was getting before because the speakers were receiving less than 100 watts a piece or right around 100 watts a piece. Now we have 400 in each corner in the front. So 400, 400. We have 400, 400. And we have 1,200 across the two eights. Battery under the seats of lithium. He's good to go now. He's got a nice little six-speaker featherweight that can keep up with the best of them.